Chile has its own 9-11, but it was in 1973 when the military forces of Augusto Pinochet took over the Chilean government, starting 17 years of one of the bloodiest dictatorships of South America. 37 years later, the Museum of Memory and Human Rights was opened to keep the memory alive of the thousands of people who disappeared and who were tortured during those years. Despite the fact that Pinochet's dictatorship is globally rejected, in Chile the denial and minimization around the human rights violations is common among the younger generations, and even some politicians have justified these acts. How can we help a generation who didn't live in those times understand what really happened during the dictatorship? Museum of Memory presents The Memory Dial. We use the radio, the medium with less military censorship during that time, to create an audio gallery that relayed the 11th of September 1973, just how it happened. We recovered, edited, and organized in chronological order more than 550 audios. We compiled all this material in a minute-by-minute -minute timeline that was streamed on several radio stations during the 11th of September 2018 on the MemoryDial.cl, on a streaming via Facebook Live, in schools, and even in the very same Museum of Memory. Proyecto que se llama Sintoniza con la Memoria. ¿Cómo ellos van reviviendo el golpe de Estado todo el día? Me pone los pelos de punta, me pone... Es muy escalofriante, la verdad. So what you're hearing on that tape is while Allende is giving his last speech, which was his most moving speech, El proyecto que busca sancionar la negación a las violaciones a los derechos humanos ocurridos en dictadura fue aprobado en la Cámara de Diputados. That's how we kept history alive for younger generations, helping them understand that independent of political stance, there's no justification for human rights violations.